Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna be buying local fishing baits and I'm going to be doing an intensive review on them in a later episode. So I hope you enjoy, enjoy this episode and uh, I'll see you at the tackle shop. Next level. finished at the tackle shop I got all my local baits or all the local baits that they had I'm actually gonna do a review when I when I get it get home me and my girlfriend we're gonna run some errands and I'm not gonna be taking the camera with so I'll see you guys um, when I do my review on those local baits finished our, our errands and um, we're gonna go get some yummy pizza now. Okay I've just made it back. Um, I'm just gonna go over the baits that I bought. Uh, I actually bought um, some local baits as you guys know. Um, I didn't actually find that many but I just picked up what, what I could get so you guys could see what, <clears throat> what is uh, on the local market. So I got these uh, McCarthy, 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 McCarthy bass baits. See, this is actually a, a uh, three, three and a quarter stumpy. It's like a small Senko in a watermelon red color. You actually get 12, 12 in a packet. Uh, then I bought the six inch stumpy. It's actually also a Senko, Senko bait. This is in a flash color. It's actually got orange and a little bit of gold, gold and glitter in it. Also from McCarthy. McCarthy. Um, then I bought these four inch gambits. Four inch gambits. I think that's how you say it. Also from McCarthy. Uh, these are in like a Joomba color and you get you get 10 in a packet. Uh, then I bought another 4 inch gambit. These are in a watermelon seed. Watermelon. Also 10, 10 in a packet also from the party. Uh, then I bought a fluke style bait. M M McCarthy actually calls them a four and a half tiddler. These are also in a watermelon color. Um, and then there's another another um, local company. They actually call Bass Hunter. And um, this is actually the, also this is a fluke style bait. This is actually, a, the name is Cat Shad Florida Bass and you get five, five in a packet. And um, then I bought another packet of flukes, also, also from Bass Hunter. Um, these are actually watermelon red color. You also get five, five in a packet. Um, another, I bought another Bass Hunter bait. This is actually a ringworm, ringworm, 140 millimeter. This is actually a black and shard, chartreuse tail. The chartreuse tail actually has, um, some some red and green flake in it. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then I bought oh, this is actually also a bass hunter hunter bait. It's called worm worm pumpkin seed. Um, it's got just red glitter in it. 
Okay, then I also bought some spinnerbaits. Spinnerbaits in the summer when things get really, really good. This is actually a shard, chartreuse in green. This is in a uh, four quarter ounce. Um, yeah, and it's, and it's got a, the, the blades are gold, small, small willow leaf and a small car, a willow leaf and a Carolina, Carolina blade. Uh, then I got another one, which is in a 3 8 ounce. This is actually a white one, and this has two two silver willow leaf blades on it. Then uh, I just picked these up. You know, I found them kind of kind of cool looking. This is a little um, sensation. It's actually in a bass color. Uh, yeah, it's in a bass color. You can see it there. It's actually a lipless crank. I really enjoy throwing lipless crank. So this is this is micro bass series. So yeah, I hope I don't catch the micro bass. Well, I might catch micro bass. And then I got myself the the Jerk 50. Also uh, from Sensation micro bass, and it's in a I don't even know. It's like a rainbow color. Looks pretty good. I've also got myself little uh, trays for my for my lures and for my hooks. You know, I got one here. This is a one, two, three, four, five, five tray. It's quite deep. And then I got another one. This is actually a six tray. Six tray, not not as deep. So, and then I got this little thing. It comes like three in a pack, which is quite nice first one actually has quite a few divisions in it. It's got 12, 12 in it, then it comes with another one where it's only got three, three, three divisions. And then there's one where you get four. The nice thing about these is that you can actually stack these and they stow away quite nicely, see? So it's kind of compact, which is quite nice. So that's basically all I got. Uh, like I said, I wish it was a little bit more successful on buying local baits. I really maybe was hoping to pick up some some more hard baits. But um, I'm also going to be doing a little bit of a review on these. So I'm actually going to go out fishing and I'm going to throw some of these and actually see if I can catch fish on them. But yeah, that'll be on my next episode of uh, Bassing with Sasha. And um yeah i'll put these lures to to the test and see if if american baits are actually worth buying and worth the money over um, local baits where you obviously paying a lot less um so i don't know maybe i should just uh, let you guys know for this whole package plus the the little containers that i got plus the little lures spinner baits plus the baits plus the soft soft plastics I paid in total seven hundred rand. I know that if I would have uh, gotten Zoom, Zoom striking, and all those American baits, I would have uh, I would have paid a lot more for it. I would have maybe walked out uh, having to pay like a thousand two and two hundred rand. So yeah, I'm I'm quite chuffed to to have spent that little for as many baits as what I got, and also the the carry trays or the trays, the lure trays. I'll see you guys on my next episode where I do a full full review on all my on all my baits and I'll also show show you guys how I've reorganized all my tackle in these. Hopefully I have enough. Maybe I must go out and get more. Okay, I will see you guys on the next episode of Bassing with Sasha. Yeah, I'll see you guys.